Emmanuel, Matthew 1.23 Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, meaning God with us. Jesus Christ to empowers his followers to change the world today. Distance is not a barrier to God's move. Emmanuel TV, God with us. Stay tuned to Emmanuel TV. Uh, we are still here live and direct from the Synagogue Church of All Nations. And right here we have uh, a young man who is here today to uh, give all glory to God Almighty for the wonderful deliverance he received uh, during uh, last service day when the anointed man of God gave him a word of prophecy among many people in the church. And right now, before we listen to his testimony and his experience, we are going to watch our screen to see and to listen to the word of prophecy that the anointed man of God gave to this young man during last Sunday service. During this time of prophecy, Prophet T.B. Joshua acts as a communicator between the visible and invisible worlds, exposing hidden truths and secrets in the lives of individuals. As their cases are touched, divine solution follows closely behind, their problems are uprooted, and they are delivered in the name of Jesus Christ. My brother, how are you? Come here. You have to forgive your dad. Uh, I say forgive your dad. Yes, I will, daddy. Mm. Because Are your you? mommy has been the one that carried the pillar. Oh, this is my mommy. Ah, uh, don't worry, don't worry. It's the, it has been the one that carried the pillar, the everything. Exactly. And forgive your dad. So and dad. that has affected you. Exactly. Too. That has affected you. Exactly. Okay? Exactly. And the two lost. Yes. You this have is the spirit. Wait. You have the spirit of loss. Yes, daddy. And the loss has. You don't know, you can't control yourself. At all. It has happened to you that even a woman that's older than you, they are, they are exactly. disturbing you. Exactly, Come exactly, exactly. Because you are handsome. Handsome. <laughs> is, handsome is a crime. Beauty is a crime. It's not a crime. Prophecy of the anointed man of God during last Sunday service when the anointed man of God prophesied to the young man um, to forgive his dad and also uh, the spirit of loss that has affected him uh, seriously and is here today to share his experience and also to testify of how this message of prophecy from the anointed man of God has delivered and transformed his life. So brother, once again, welcome you to the Synagogue Church of All Nations in Jesus' name. Can you please tell us your name, uh, where you come from, and your testimony? Uh, my name is uh, Joseph. I'm from Kogi State, Nigeria. L last Sunday, man of God gave me a word of prophecy. Uh, he said that uh, I have a spirit, of, uh, as a, he said I should forgive my dad. Then secondly, he said it's my mom that carried the responsibility of the family. Thirdly, he said that I have a spirit of lust. And the, this spirit of lust thereby has made me to this uh, go after women that are older than me. And even women that are older than me say we will go, go, will go, go after me as well. I confirm all the prophecies to be true. Okay, now tell us uh, prior to this message of prophecy and uh, uh, to your coming to the Synagogue Church of All Nations, can you confirm this message of prophecy of the anointed man of God and how this spirit uh, of lust has really uh, affected your life negatively? Yeah, it all, it all started when I was uh, seven, seven years, uh, yeah, seven years, uh, and a couple of uh, neighbors were watching it in the compound. So I took, I took a peep. Then the following day, they invited me to come over. So I went in, I watched the whole full movie with them. So since then, since then, the uh, pornography movie. So since I, wo I finished, since, since, that, uh, two, since, since that time that I was six years, uh, seven years old there, but he, I became mature. I started going after this, in a, uh, the, desire, the desire came from nowhere, enter me, that I should go after women, that in what I saw, as in what I was saw in the pornography there, but I should go after them, doing the same thing with them, even those that are older than me, that I should go after them as well. So I should go after I should go after them as well, and uh, those that are this and older than me are even coming after me, but I refuse. I keep on going after. It is mean that I keep on going after them. 
And the, if, if, the reason why I go after women that are older than me is that because, number one, women that are older than me are more mature than they this in my age. So I prefer to go to women that are older than me so that their own sense of business, at least they have their house of their own. So from there, they can have opportunity to do whatever I want to do there. So that continued. So it until I got opportunity to travel abroad. That was 2010. So I on traveling abroad there, by everything became worse. Okay, before you talk about your experience uh, 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 outside the country, tell us uh, how on daily basis were you um, satisfying yourself with this um, this pornographic thing? How do you get them? Where do you watch them? And uh, tell us what what experience, what joy. Um, do you derive what satisfaction do you derive from watching this thing before it now lead you to um, meeting women and having an affair with them? Uh, what happened? What, what happened was that whenever I'm watching this uh, this uh, pornography, thereby it makes me feel joy in my in my heart. And at the same time, because I'm lonely, because it's my it's my, my I lost my dad. I don't know my dad. According to the first prophecy, there I lost my dad. So that put that loneliness into me that I took uh, this pornography there as my closest friend. So I cannot do without this pornography. And whenever this pornography comes, uh, this, when this, whenever the spirit of loss comes like this there, but I can masturbate more than two or three as the spirit demanded. So I, 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 I while, while I was in, in this, in, while I was in, in Nigeria, I go to all these uh, where, where they are selling cassette. I buy them. It was when I travel abroad. I get, this was like a freedom because there I got my own internet. I can download more than 220 to 30 a day and the, all those ones that are downloaded there within that day, they will finish watching all of them. I mean, I finish watching all of them, I see download more again the following day. So that continues. And whenever I come like this, I can't reason very well. I can't reason. I can't reason. So whenever it comes, it's as if I, my, I'm, I'm, I'm getting out of my mind. If I don't do it, I will not get myself. And if I don't do it, I won't sleep fine. And whenever I do it, thereby, I became very weak to the extent I cannot do anything. And the job I do over there, thereby, is a housekeeping job. And uh, to combine the housekeeping job with my studies and all that, thereby, I will need to be this, uh, physically strong and spiritually strong as well. But because of, due to, because of this uh, spirit of pornography and the uh, laws, thereby, all the time I become, I, I'm always weak at every time. Every time I'm always weak. And the, to the extent that this, uh, med, this uh, ID card here bar was given to me by the, this in a, by the company, I was this, uh, this, in a, this in insurance, health insurance. So whenever we have any problem, whenever we have any problem, they, whenever we have any problem, we we'll go to the doctor, any doctor there bar, and give them this card. They, they'll treat us free of charge. So, since I don't know the cause of my problem, I went for S3 because whenever I masturbate there, but my heart will feel as, as uh, my heart will feel heavy as if there is a bag of cement in, in my heart. So I went for S3. Everything, all what you are seeing on the board there, by is a, this is the confirmation that I uh, the certificate they gave me from there. The certificate they the certificate they gave me. This here is it. So they get, they get, they get, they gave me this one. They say this when you look at this diamond show and there, but with this diamond they are the same there. So they gave me this uh, that I should go this and after I went for this uh, after I went for this uh, for check over the doctor confirmed that yes nothing is wrong with me but deep down inside me I know that I'm not okay I know that I'm not okay so this spirit of loss affected me to the extent that one particular night there but I was very very depressed very very depressed I don't know what to do where to go where to go then to go outside there was the only solution and then one of my friends there but came to me. After I finished my work, I was the first person that finished my own duty before his own. So after he, I, he finished his own duty, he came to me with a lost and found credit card, which belonged to one of the company, this member we, where we are working. So when he gave me the when he, when he, he gave me the card, he asked me that we should go and spend the money. And I told him that, no, return this card to the owner, or you take it back to the reception. So the second time again, he told me, See, uh, he told me I rejected it uh, for the second time. But when the spirit, when the spirit that was tormenting before he came in and gave me this in there, but it was like kind of an opportunity for me to go outside and relieve myself, After, to relieve myself and get myself off from there. Before then, but I already masturbated. So because I've already masturbated, but I could not reason well. According to what man of God said, they say when it come upon me, I cannot reason well. I confirm everything is true. I can't reason. I can't reason. So that because of that night there, but I followed my friend out. 
or getting to where we this uh, to a supermarket there, but where we use the card, it because of thirty thousand naira, I was deported back to my country. Thirty thousand naira. So when we go to that distance supermarket there, but on getting to that supermarket, on to get to that supermarket there, but we spend. As we pay, as we spend the money there, but we went. This uh, we left. We don't know that maybe there is something that somebody this in there will go after that we don't know. It was later on that somebody. It was it was later it was later on that uh, this uh, the owner of the card. You no, know, when they, you you shop with a with credit card and you there's always a card this in a bank alert. So when the owner of the card receive bank alert, say ah uh ah -uh, I'm not with my credit card. Who make use of my credit card that I receive this bank alert? Then. The company, the place where they make use of the this in there, but everything, all the details there, but we, we, we go straight to the bank. So that is how the person, that is why the owner, of the, uh, that is how the owner of the card trace the this uh, back, the person, the place where we where, went for shopping with the card. Then after when you after the person went there, the, after the person went there, where we went to do the shopping with the card, there, but it was then that the policeman came for came for intervention. So after the policeman came came in there, but then the they told the owner of the place there but to rewind back all the customer that comes in that day so immediately immediately they, immediately, immediately they this the 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 policeman wind the camera there but the man who owns the credit card is a member of the company there that he was able to recognize that my friend then you mean you mean through a cctv camera yes a cctv camera was 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 fixed every angle of the shop where we went to this in the do shopping so with the credit card. So they, from there they arrested. They arrested us. They took us to prison. So that was that, that was this thing. That was this thing. There. They, they after after they took us to prison. That then they they, de they deported us. So before before that day, bar I have a lot of document of this. Uh, this document you are you are seeing in my hand, there, bar I they accomplish what I did as in my effort with the company. Okay. So you mean when you travel out of the country, you, you travel to uh, which part of the world? I traveled to Middle East. And when you got there, you, you had a, a, a job you were doing? Yes, I had a job I was doing there. Not a very good job. Not only, not only that, I, only, all, all, I, was, I was the only African man who has this, in, out of two, out of, uh, only African staff, out of two, out of uh, this, in, uh, two this, in, uh, let me say, 300 or 500 staff. We are, more than, we are not more than 500 staff. So I was the only person that uh, was given opportunity to go for the training all around. I went for accounting department. I've done training as successful there. I went for this in the office, uh, this in the reception. I went for this in the, this in the security department. All around the whole company, I've done this in training. And they found me very good. But because of this spirit of loss there, but I know I reason very well there, but it gives this spirit of anger, this spirit of pride. I don't, even those that are older than me there, but I don't respect them. Okay, now Tay, can you show us some of those uh, the evidences you uh, have as to your uh, membership of that company and the work you were doing and also um, the progress you were making in the company after that time before this uh, spirit of loss uh, brought, brought a setback to you? Yeah, but are all the, are all the documents, because of time I will not be able to show it. This very one here, this, ver this very one here by... This very one here, but out of the few staff that performed very well that this in a, for that for that year, and uh, I was selected among those that this in that uh, that this, this in uh, among among those that will take the this in the ma magazine. This is me there in, at the front there where you are this in the front of the staff there. So I was I was happen to I was selected among all those uh, the staff that year. That is why they published this in this this newspaper you are seeing there. But it's all around the this in uh, uh, this in a uh, British. British company there in the distance. I helped them to win best of British of the distance there yeah, in the EU, UK. There is on the on the on the newspapers. Okay, can you show us uh, what you have on the board there? With me here, ba. With me here, ba. This one here is a this in a salad a receipt. Because of that, there, ba. I I recharge here because the spirit of loss told me that I must re, I must charge it there by every day there every day there I recharge my I recharge my internet here by to watch pornography. This is it here. All the receipts here. So few of the receipts that some of them are not, I'm, they are not here with him, but those are the receipts there. And uh, this one here by is my certificate there. This my certificate there. And uh, one of the many certificates there. This is one here. And uh, here they this in there. After I came back there, but this is when I was in the country. Everything was doing fine there. After I came back there, but this is when I was coming back in, in Black Maria here.
I took this picture, and uh, after I came back there, but this is what I'm, this is what I did. I I went for Puerto Company, and I went to this in a uh, concrete job. This is my 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 brother-in-law. This is my mother my my mother-in-law, and all of them here. And this is, this is what I'm doing now. Okay. So you mean from what we can see in the picture there, after you were deported because of this uh, spirit of laws that um, actually make things started working against you right there in the Middle East where you were gainfully employed and you were doing fine, you were having good recommendation from the company and you have a lot of certificates to show for a good performance and after all because of this spirit of uh, laws uh, that led you uh, into a crime that you were not supposed to uh, have committed and you were deported back to Nigeria. So you mean those pictures we are seeing on the board there shows the kind of menial jobs that you started doing? Exactly. So can you start explaining when you, are, when you came back to, the, to Nigeria, what was the first job you started doing and after that what other jobs were you doing uh, as a result of this spirit of loss? The first, the first job I did there, but it was this nylon company. That one is not here. Second one, it's a pure water company. I went for, to work in pure water company as a motor boy. As a motor boy here. Then the second one, I went for concrete, concrete work here. Which, this is me here. Then this is the one I'm doing now. This is the one is a pure, the, the, this is a pure water company. I work as a motor boy. Before the, the, after working the, working there, bar, then I, I went to this in there to work as a, this in a concrete boy here, here. Then from there, this is the potato, potato ship I'm doing now. Okay, so and all other documents we are seeing here are all proofs of your, 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 your successful working career right there in the Middle East before this spirit of lust destroyed your life? Yes. Okay. And there's, another, and there's another one here. I have a document here also. I got a job in UK. And that job there, but I was given this in a two-bedroom two, two flat accommodation. I have the document here, everything to show you here, the appointment that they gave me. So uh, I was given two bedroom flat and uh, 4,000 pounds a month, so supposed to be my salary. Because I was supposed to resume on duty on 17 on December 2012, because of, uh, because of that, uh, I went to prison on this in uh, 4th January. Because I went, for, I went to prison on 4th January, uh, I was unable to meet up. So that I lost the job. Okay, now... The man of God, man of God, also mentioned that uh, you should forgive your dad, and uh, your ma your mother was the one who was uh, carrying the whole responsibility. What can you also say about that? Yeah, they say I should forgive my dad. That is true. I don't know my dad, and uh, in the family we are nine in number. One died. We are this in the remaining eight, five boys, then three three uh, three uh, three girls. So all the three girls there, but they are married with their husband. They were doing very well, but they are, they are back in the village now. It is it's my mom that is taking care of them and their children, even, even their husband also. So I have confirmed the prophecy to be true that it's my mom that is taking care of of everything. And it was still my mom that brought all, all this in all of us up. I'm the last born in the family. Okay, now, um, can you tell us, uh, uh, now that uh, you you came to the synagogue church of all nations and you received this prophecy tell us after the man of god gave the message of prophecy to you he prayed for you right yes after he gave me the word of prophecy he prayed for me but since that monday that since that sunday till today that he prayed for me there but i'll be doing very fine and they like sleeping usually when i sleep before but i used to see myself inside a, a very big ocean see myself with different type of creature i don't know and they will be running out i would run, sometimes they run after me i run after them but all those dreams and they are, they, are, they are short i can sleep like a baby now so the urge for the spirit of loss that one is gone it's gone it's gone it's gone to the glory of god hallelujah uh, it's gone now i'm i'm happy to the glory of god Okay, we thank God Almighty for your life. Uh, there you can see on the left side of the screen, that was when the anointed man of God was giving the message of prophecy to the young man. Uh, and you have been listening to his experience. Uh, after this prophecy, the man of God touched him with a touch of anointing that broke the yoke of the spirit of lust in his life that has brought him from grace to grass. He said he left this, the shores of, of this country to a Middle East country where he, he, he was gainfully employed and he was doing well, 
receiving certificates, receiving awards and, uh, and all that, but because of this spirit of loss, every day has to browse the internet, watch pornography, and go after women and have affairs with them, and this, continue, made, this made him to fall sick, and as well also made him to lose his sense of reasoning, and all this uh, uh, added up to the problem that brought him back, and he came back to the country, and now this is what he became, and uh, also uh, uh, we thank God that he, he has been delivered at the end of it all. So what word of advice you have for youth, especially who are listening to you? Youth out there, my advice goes for especially for the youth. Because when I, got in, when I started this uh, pornography beba in the first place, I took it as a normal thing, as a pleasure. I didn't see it as anything. But that was what stopped me from becoming who, who, this now who God wants me to be in life. And this bit of loss there, but what you people are doing there, I know that so many people are out there that are into what I was before I was delivered. See, I'm begging you in the name of God. There is no... Uh, see, you just look around you. What do you see? Oppression, depression, a lot of things. So why can't you turn, why can't you turn back and follow Christ? So turn back and follow Christ. Jesus is calling us. So we should follow Jesus all the time. Okay, thank you very much. And uh, now that you are delivered, we thank God Almighty for your life. I want to also encourage you to remain in faith in Christ Jesus. The reason for the deliverance you have received is for you to continue to uh, follow the way of the Lord and make His word the standard for your life. And all your lost fortunes will be restored by the grace of the Almighty God in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. I'm delivered. Thank you, Jesus. Log on to our website, www.scoan.org. Go to the Visit Us page. And for those from within Nigeria, you can call the three visit lines that appear on the website. For those from outside Nigeria, there are some frequently asked questions that will assist you in your visit procedure. Remember, it is essential that anyone from outside Nigeria should fill in the questionnaire. Please remember to answer every question that is asked. And after you have filled in the questionnaire, remember to click send. Please note, you must wait to receive an invitation or confirmation of your visit from us before making any traveling arrangements or flight bookings. All communication with the Synagogue Church of All Nations should be through the following email address. Info at scoan.org. We look forward to hearing from you. Emmanuel, God with us.